Before we begin, I would like to make a, an announcement about a small change in the program. Uh, uh, John Robertson Davis was supposed to be uh, joined by another performer, um, as you're aware, but unfortunately um, he's um, <coughs> uh, been delayed and we can't find out where he is. <coughs> so John will make a silent performance uh, instead of a collaborative performance. I hope you enjoy. He was meant to be here a couple of hours ago, um, but I can't get through to him on the phone. Um, yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what to do. Um, I was actually wondering if he he hasn't come in order to make a point about failure and performance. He can be a bit dramatic. Um, he was telling me the other day actually about a festival that he did recently where he performed in Spain, where he just showed up late in the limousine, went on stage, opened a bottle of champagne, sprayed the audience with the bubbles, and then just left the new one again. And that was it, that was the whole thing. So I don't know what to expect tonight, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if he calls me tomorrow and tells me that he didn't come in order to make the performance that we prepared for, for real. So, uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I still wanted to do something for you this evening and I've been trying to think of just a few possibilities. In the end I thought what would be best would just be to do performance anyway. Um, we were going to perform a scripted conversation uh, that we'd learnt off by heart and I just made a quick print out of the script. So I thought um, someone could just read Diego's lines and um, it shouldn't be too much of a big deal if there would be anyone willing to stand in. Thanks. There's a script. Um, We are performing a script that we prepared earlier. As my English is not very good, and I feel more comfortable learning the words beforehand, so I don't make too many grammatical mistakes. Um, when I learned that tonight's performance was, performances were about failure, um, I immediately thought of the performance that I saw years ago um, by an artist, um, a big guy. We were in a tiny gallery space, and he just started violently throwing himself against the walls of the space. He would take a couple of steps, run up, and then really, um, with all his effort, he would jump with the weight of his whole body against the of his face. After a while, he um, stopped, looked a bit disappointed, and said he was sorry um, he couldn't go on because the performance had failed. I didn't know what he was trying to do at the time, um, but I thought it was great. Do you think the performance was a failure? Um, I don't know, I don't know what his goal was. Do you think you know, do you think you need to know his goal in order to assess his success? If we're going to be scientific about it. Do you think a performance can fail? Sure. I see performances that fail all the time. Could you tell us about one? <laughs> yes. A couple of months ago I was invited to perform at a Fluxus festival. The guy who was on before me was recreating a Fluxus piece which consistently consists solely of an exploding salad. The performer was, has to install some kind of firecracker inside the salad to make it explode. Very 60s, right? But this time the performance was in a museum in Oslo, and since they, were, they are very rich over there, the artist had asked to hire a special effects specialist in order to have everything under control. And then it says more. <laughs> Continue. Uh, <laughs> see uh, they, they rehearsed the explosion several times and decided on the exact amount of explosives they should use in order to have an effective but safe explosion. When they did it in front of the audience, the explosion failed. 
You could hear the band, but the salad remained intact. I call that a failure. I don't know how the artist felt about it, but I think it was no bad thing, since I found what happened to be more Fluxus-like than his original intentions. How do you think this performance could fail? You mean this one? <laughs> yes, this one. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if I forgot my lines? <laughs> We often do this, don't we, Diego? <laughs> Great scripts, that is. We prepare a lot. I feel very safe doing this. I mean, I spent a lot of time learning these lines. These lines make me feel a bit sad. You are bored of this? A bit. Maybe we're just boring performers. Do you think an audience can be excited about this if I am not? Shall we ask them how they feel? Okay. Can you tell us how you feel about this performance so far and if it's been boring or you? It hasn't been boring, it's been quite fun. Can you tell us how you feel about this performance and if it how you feel about this performance so far and if it's been boring? Um, now I'm enjoying it by am being cynical. Can you tell us how you feel about this performance and if it's been boring for you so far? Not boring, but has it been boring? Why do we make performances, Diego? Why do people come and see these performances? I think it has something to do with not wanting to be alone. Mm. I think I just do this in order to be loved, or to be noticed. Maybe we're all just here to be amongst other people, share an experience and talk about ideas. Maybe. But if that is the main reason for performance, then I could just cut perform the performance and go straight to connecting people. Why like how? Well, there are a couple of very good friends of mine in the audience tonight, people who are very important to my life, and as you're also very important to my life, um, and you've never had the opportunity to meet each other, I thought I could just introduce you somehow. I would like that. <laughs> but what about the rest of the audience that you don't know? It might be boring for them. I don't think it would. Let's try it. If anyone feels bored, remember that everything tonight is about failure. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So, um, um, the first friend I would like to introduce you tonight is a friend of mine called Mary. Hi, Mary. Um, I've known Mary for about five years. Uh, we met in London when we coincidentally had two places of work in common. Um, I wanted to introduce you to Mary tonight because I think that you have a few personality traits in common. <laughs> Um, Mary, I think of as being quite a romantic person. Um, I think of Mary as following her intu intuition and trying to speak and act from her heart. I think Mary feels good when she's following her own emotional impulses and tries to let those impulses guide her in life. Diego, I know that when people first meet you, um, they sometimes think that you're rude or that you lack certain social skills. Um, I think that that has more to do with the fact that you're not so interested in following certain social norms of behaviour. I think when you try to meet people, you try to act freely, um, and I think that sometimes comes across as um, being in inappropriate behaviour. Um, I think what you and Mary share in common is that you try to follow your own desire, but I think you're also both quite sensitive um, to how people react to you. And, and um, So I think you're both balancing that kind of desire with um, a certain amount of self-doubt or um, something that leads to a sensitivity to the world. Something else that you both have in common is that you're both very interested in the subject of emotions. Um, questions like, what is happiness? What is love? And I thought that might be something you would find interesting to talk to each other about. I think ultimately 
you're both drawn to people who are very uninhibited, unembarrassed, and open, and I think you would enjoy those qualities in each other. And I think, I can imagine that you would have fun together in each other's company, particularly in social situations. The second friend I would like to introduce you tonight is Emma Leach. Hi Emma. Um, I've known Emma for about four years, um, also in London, and we've kept closely in touch ever since we've met wherever we've lived since then. Um, Diego, um, I know that you're a bit disapproving of my sugary eating habits, about like eating chocolate and sweets yourself. Um, I must tell you that Emma can do some amazing things with vegetables. <laughs> um, though perhaps a little less militant, um, I think you share some similar, similar attitudes towards food, and I thought maybe you would benefit from each other's recipes. <laughs> I know that you also enjoy very much spending an evening in um, dining with friends. Another thing that you have in common is that you both never, ever go to nightclubs. <laughs> um, but Emma, Diego often uses dance in his performances. Um, I think I'm right in saying that you don't enjoy dancing in any situation. Um, but I thought that maybe it could be interesting for you to um, talk to each other about what conditions are necessary for um, having a fun time dance. <laughs> um, finally, um, I think Emma is an incredibly pragmatic person. And um, Diego, I don't know how you feel about pragmatism, but um, I think that you don't enjoy conflict, although I think you're a bit seduced by it somehow. And I thought that could be some kind of interesting point of conversation in front of you. So, um, Diego, you're now acquainted with Mary and Emma. Emma and Mary, you're now acquainted with Diego. Um, your friends seem very interesting. <laughs> I'd love to get to the <coughs> Excuse me. I know that Diego is well known for the use of interruptions in his performances. Since he's not here tonight, I thought I could interrupt instead of him. I'm sure he wouldn't mind, and the performance would be better for it. Okay, is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Um, maybe we can just um, continue. Uh, we can go again from where you say your friends, the beginning of the letter, you say your friends seem very interesting. Your friends seem really interesting. I'd love to get to know them. Hey, where have you been? I was worried. I had a bike accident. Am I interrupting? I can't believe that you've replaced me. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, I know that Diego is well known for the use of interruptions in his performances. Since he's not here tonight, I thought I could interrupt instead of him. I'm sure he wouldn't mind, and the performance would be better for it. Uh, I haven't started performing yet, that's fine. Uh, what's going on? Um, don't know, Shall we start from the beginning? Yeah, man. All right. All right, um, um where you, uh, would you mind introducing us? Thanks, man. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Before we begin, I would like to announce a small change in the program. Sharon Robertson Davies was supposed to be joined here by another uh, performer, but he hasn't arrived and we don't know where he is. So Sharon will make a, se a solo performance instead of, instead of a collaborative project. I hope you enjoy it. Um, hi, so um, I was meant to be performing with my colleague David Chang tonight, um, but he's not here yet. Um, he was meant to be here a couple of hours ago, um, but not add to his phone, so I'm not exactly sure what best to do for you this evening. Um, I'm wondering if he hasn't come in order to make a point about failure, uh, failure and performance. He can, he can be a bit dramatic. He was telling me um, actually recently about a festival that he found out in Spain where he just showed up late 
uh, in a limousine, went on stage, opened a bottle of champagne, sprayed the audience with the bubbles, and then left again in the limousine, and that was it. That was the entire performance. Yeah, well, it wasn't just that. Um, so I don't know what to expect tonight, but I wouldn't be surprised if he calls me tomorrow and tells me he uh, didn't come in order to make the performance that we've prepared for our career. We'll, we'll have that. I'm here. I had an accident. Anyway, I still wanted to do something for you this evening. Um, I've been trying to think of a few possibilities, and in the end I thought I would just um, do performance anyway. We were going to perform a scripted conversation, which we'd learned off by heart, and I uh, just made a quick printout of the script, and I thought maybe someone could just read those lines, and it wouldn't be such a big deal if anyone would be willing to stand in. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, great, thanks. And both parts are written, you just need to read the English part. I know what I have to do. Um, hi, I'm Michelle. <laughs> and my name is Diego. We are performing a script that we prepared earlier, as my English is not too good, and I feel more comfortable learning the words beforehand, so I don't make too many grammatical mistakes. Your English sounds great. Can you stick to the script? <laughs> um, when I heard that tonight's performances were going to be about failure, I immediately saw the performance I saw years ago by an artist, a big guy. We were in a tiny gallery space and he just started violently throwing himself um, against the walls. He would take a couple of steps run up and then really, with all his effort, he would jump with the weight of his whole body against the walls of his face. After a while, he stopped, looked a bit disappointed and said he was sorry he couldn't continue because the performance had failed. I didn't know what he was trying to do at the time, but I thought it was great. Do you think the performance was a failure? <coughs> I don't, know, I don't know what his goal was. Do you think you need to know his goal in order to assess its success? If we're going to be scientific about it. Do you think performance can fail? Sure. I see performances that fail all the time. Could you tell us about one of them? <clears throat> yes. A couple of months ago I was invited to perform at a Fluxus festival. The guy who was on before me was recreating a Fluxus piece, which consists solely of an exploding sound. The performer has to install some kind of firecracker inside the sound and make it explode. Very 60s, right? Uh-huh, what happened? Well, this time the performance was in a museum in Oslo, and since they are very rich over there, the artist asked for money to hire a special effects specialist in order to have everything under control. They rehearsed the explosion several times, decided on the exact amount of explosives they should use to have a nice but safe explosion, and guess what? The explosion failed. Exactly. I don't know how the artist felt about it, but I think it was no bad thing, since I found what happened to be more Fluxus-like than his original intentions. Amazing. How do you think this performance could fail? You mean this one? Mm. It can't. This performance is perfect. How come? This performance can't fail because it's failure in itself. Like a perfect failure. Exactly. We can do whatever. Beep, beep, beep. 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 Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Enough. <laughs> Why do we make performances? Why do people come and see these performances? It's a tricky question. Maybe this is just an excuse just to do something that we like doing and have people watch us. Mm. Maybe. But you mean like something, an opportunity to do something we couldn't do in our normal life? Maybe. I mean, for example, I know that you love to sing, but you never do it in front of other people because you are afraid that you are not very good. But in performance, actions are judged by different criteria. So maybe this is just a way of making an opportunity to do those things, you know. Mm. But if that was the main reason for performance, then 
Why would we do all this? Why wouldn't I just sing a song? I don't know. Maybe you should. Mm -hmm. I feel afraid. It's okay. Remember, everyone, if Cheyenne sings badly, everything tonight is about failure. Ha ha ha. Since he's not here tonight, I thought I could interrupt instead of him. I'm sure he wouldn't mind, and the performance would be better for it. Yeah, you really got us that time. Wait, 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 this is the part where I'm supposed to look confused. Um, okay. <laughs> where have you been? I'm worried. Oh yeah, it's brilliant. We have to start. Um, I've replaced it twice in fact. Twice? Which one's better? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know which one was better actually. Can you ask you all? I'd like to know. Alright. Um. Hey, did. <laughs> hey. There you go, you made it. I replaced you. I replaced you three times. <laughs> Oh, um... 
not sure really. I mean, they all have their merits, I suppose. But I mean, really, what's it all about? I mean, it's. I mean, they've all they've all come in and they've they've done the part. I mean, even the last one didn't seem real to me. I mean. I'm, I'm just just a musician. I, 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 you, you, you know that. I mean, you, you've got to come, to come in and speak these lines. Um, you dragged me all the way from London to come and do this. I mean, I, I've read this, read off this paper, all this stuff. I mean, what what what, what do you expect? Uh, I mean, the first one was. I mean, obviously, he was reading. I mean, that's that's not great, but I suppose. I mean, he's, he's not foreign either, but what? It's just, just a bit. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's just a, a, like a joke. Yeah. A bit, a bit funny. But I don't get it. I mean, you do all these performances, I come to them. What, what do you. I mean, it, it, it's, it's the whole thing. I, I feel like I'm a bit sort of. I'm a bit further away from it. I mean. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Emma and Mary, you've, you've talked about them in the performance. What about me? I mean. <laughs> you've, you've, you've known me for, for ten years. I mean, I've, I've I've probably known you more than anyone else in this room. Yeah, you've, I mean, you got to be in it. Yeah, but but I'm, I'm doing a bit part. I mean, what? Okay. And the whole thing felt like it was a bit like 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 almost like you were sort of um, directly attacking me. <laughs> like, like, I mean, no, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. I, 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 for, like. I mean, I know I've never met Diego. I mean, I don't even. Well, I, I do know he, he exists. I've been on his website. I've seen seen the sort of stuff he does. I mean, there's this piece where he um, he attacks attacks this noise musician. I mean, you, you know that's that's the kind of thing I'm into. I mean, is is that is that is that sort of what why he why he wrote me into the part? I mean, has has he put me in like that? Yeah, I don't I don't think um, he meant it personally. Well, I suppose that's his thing, isn't it? But I mean, even the other the other bit. I mean, you've gone, you've gone, you've sung, um, sung. My heart will go on. I mean, I, I feel like that that song. It, it's kind of it's 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 in it, it's it's been getting at me ever since I've been ever, ever since I've been that tall. I mean, I, I mean, you know, I'm a flute player, don't you? I mean, every, whenever I was whenever I was I was little, the only thing they ever bloody wanted me to play was my heart will go on. That song, it keeps coming back. I mean, yeah, but it, I mean, good for you. I mean, sort of. Yeah, but I hate it. I hate <laughs> it. It's a horrible song. Every time in my dreams, I hear you. I feel you. See, even I can sing it better than you. I mean, I mean, I know you're trying, but I mean, what is it? I mean, you've got. There's all these people here. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know whether that's good enough. I mean, we'll I, talk about it I mean, I, I performed, I, I performed for you that thing in in East London, didn't I? In where, where was it? Live art something? Or was it? Live. In, it was at a university. Mm. Yeah. I mean, and I, all I did, I, I hold, held up those cards. It's just. Okay. 